All right, so I haven't done anything since we last met, and now I'm going to start adding the bass into my drum sub mix. So let's go ahead and solo the bass and our drum sub mix and hear what that sounds like. Yep, let's turn this loop off. Uh, I'm going to right click in the window, remove selection, remove my loop. Rewind it to the beginning again, and let's hear this. All right. Now, I kind of did this for you guys already in the thread, so we'll just run through it um, visually here. So, first on the agenda is Gliss EQ. You know, we got all this going on over here that we talked about before. Uh, I'm going to throw a high pass filter on it. And I'm going to run it up to, you know, the 70 to 80 range. Now, a lot of guys are probably saying, what? The, you're, you're cutting all the bass out of it. I'm not going to have any bump or anything like that. Uh, just to demonstrate to you guys real quick what we're cutting out when I do a high pass filter like that. I'm going to bring up another uh, plug-in, it's, a, it's a Wave Arts plug-in, and what this is going to let me do is set up like a really strict uh, filter so that we can cut that all the way down to 80. Let me get the drums out of the way. So now what I've done is I've set up the opposite of what we're doing with the high pass. I've cut it all the way back to 85 on the bass. And I don't know if you can hear that, but let me turn it up for you here. All right. That's what we're cutting out with that high pass filter. Uh, if you think you need that, <laughs> uh, go ahead and leave it in there. Uh, all your mixes are going to be muddy, I guarantee it. Okay, so that's all we need out of that. Just real quick, show you what you're missing. And let's get rid of that guy. Let's get back to Vox Ungo and turn it back on. And let's start bringing out elements we can use here. So let's, let's get this guy going. Use the purple one, PQQ. Start bringing out that 500 range. Tighten it up a little bit. Let's, let's go to extremes on this so you can hear it. Yeah, it's going to give you a better cut. Yeah, let's make the green one a PQQ. Let's have the same one octave Q on it. And we'll move that over to half, half of that one. I'm going to move this one over more closer to 500. And we'll bring this one up to 250. Okay. And then we'll cut out a little bit of the boom. Okay. And then we'll bypass it just to hear what we started at. Hear that? Real boomy. Wait for it to come back here. And let's turn the EQ back on. Alright. Let's kick the drums back on so we can hear it. The bass is not bad. It's sitting pretty good. consistent on me and doesn't disappear or anything like that. And <laughs> we'll put some air on it. So 
sounds pretty good, but... Needs a little dirt in it. Let's uh, let's go ahead and put a little dirt on it. Uh, to do that, I was using uh, Voxengo's tube amp, which is free. Go ahead and throw that on there. And I'm gonna turn the drums on because I want to hear. I want to hear what's sticking out on me here. And I'm just gonna play with this a little bit until I get what I think I want. second and then I'll turn it off and you can hear the difference. That's off. And uh, see how that little bit of grit just kind of makes it stick out. So I'm good with that. Alright. Get the guitars going here. And I'm going to use a guitar submix so we can run through that procedure again here. Again, I want to add a track. And I'm going to call it guitar submix. Okay. And I'm going to make it a folder track, well, group track, whatever you want to call it. All right, and then because all I want included in this folder is the guitar is the guitar one and guitar two track, I'm going to hit this, which tells it that it's only looking at these two tracks. So this is your submix between this bracket and this bracket. Okay, let's let's check to make sure that's true. Turn off our solos here. There's our guitars that are uh, way too loud. Let's pan them out. Let's solo them here. That's about the level I want. I like these two to be kind of close to each other, bass and guitars. But yeah, it's it's not jumping out for me. It's not doing nothing for me. So let's get working on that. Let's get a glissy EQ going here, and we got all of our junk over here, rumble, whatever you want to call it. So let's high pass that off to at least 80. Now, just from experience, I, I know that right around the 400 range, 400 hertz range, is an area I like to bring up or down. So I'll run that through the extremes for you here. It might initially sound like I'm dulling it out, but it, it'll work out in the end here, trust me. Get our mid punch going here. Guitar is a mid instrument, not a low end instrument. So let's put it where it belongs. Uh, that's around 1.5 is where I usually like to boost or cut. Let's run the extremes on that. And let's make it Metallica. Much. This 5150's got a lot of mid in it to begin with. Alright, that's not really sticking out at all. So the right answer is to get up into the 5K range. Tighten that 
up a little bit and listen to how this really makes the guitars come out of the mix. A little wider with that. And to run it to the extremes. trick if you want to move them both at the same time just go ahead and pick this one hold down the shift key and pick that one in your standard windows behavior and now the volumes on these two will move together Take a look with our good friend Span, what we got going on. We're pretty balanced. I can't, uh, I can't, I can't use a limiter with this software I got because then I'm using to capture this. Uh, if I limit it, it, it just. <laughs> It just overloads and it turns into a big pile of distortion that nobody can even understand. So if we were going to add a limiter on to, our, to the end of our chain here, and I think we've all been using Buzz Maxi, uh, a good one anyway, you slice it free or not, Buzz Maxi would go over span and you would set your ceiling to minus three and then you would use your makeup gain to make it however loud you want it. And again, you're going to check that with Voxengo. You're not going to be pushing it up into 9 or 8 or anything like that. You want to, for most of the music we're doing around the whole, uh, minus 12, minus 11 is more than adequate. All right. So I think we got a pretty balanced mix going here. We could go back. I might try one more thing on the guitar submix here. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a uh, plugin from TLS. Saturated driver. I'm gonna just be lame and go with the warming default. Let's give it a little something something. a little more pressure. Let's adjust the level with that in there. That sounded so good there, I might try it on the drum sub mix too. a little more uh, presence, vibe, depth, whatever you want to call it. 